Beta Ray Bill is one of the many characters in the Marvel Universe who are yet to make an appearance in the MCU. But unlike all the other overlooked superheroes, Beta Ray Bill's presence in the MCU is still prevalent. Sure, the hero may not have made a physical appearance, but do you remember the Easter egg in Thor Ragnarok? There was a Beta Ray Bill statue on the Grandmaster's Tower. Alright, fine, maybe it was a physical appearance. But it's not like it was actually a living, breathing Beta Ray Bill. The next mention, or well, lack of mention, around Beta Ray Bill was actually in the script of Avengers Endgame. Obviously, there's no way it would have been missed by the watchful eye of the Marvel fandom if he was even subtly referenced. But because it was only in the script, it makes sense why it took us this long to discover it. It was first pointed out by Reddit user MasterHaze710, who says there's a moment in the script where the scene takes place in the home planet of the Corbinite race. Corbin, to those of you who haven't figured it out yet, Corbin is home planet of our very own Beta Ray Bill. The said scene takes place when viewers first see Gamor and Nebula in a 2014 flashback, fighting a swarm of mechanized warriors which, according to the script, are Corbinites. The setting is written on the beginning of page 63 in the script. Bad Nebula cuts down a Corbinite soldier with dual blades. Honestly, it might be the most nebulous thing to do. The line continues, she leads Thanos' troops onward as they lay waste to Corbinite home world. This would have been a perfect opportunity to introduce Beta Ray Bill to the team up and maybe just see him take on Gamora or Nebula head on, or maybe even both of them together. But alas, Joe and Anthony Russo had other plans for the film, which well, as we saw, had nothing to do with Beta Ray Bill. Maybe another time. If you would have loved to seen Beta Ray Bill, put it in the comments below, smash the like button, hit subscribe for more awesome content from Animated Times.